has had to get off of science and go into supernatural. I've all, I always knew when I was young that science was only explaining supernatural. I knew that. I couldn't tell you how I knew it, but I knew they were leaving out something. They were trying to explain. They kept What they were doing was trying to explain God and then trying to refute God. To so explain him and then refute him. Put it this way. They were trying to figure him out to defeat him. <laughs> this is what Satan has been doing. Figuring out God to defeat God. This is what, actually what Satan thinks he's going to do. He thinks he's going to create a weapon that's actually going to have a, have a good chance of standing against the Most High. This is what the end time is about. Amen. So, um, as you see the futility of the enemy, he's going to fail. <laughs> he knows he's going to fail. But that doesn't stop him from trying. Amen. So, this is what he's busy doing in the last days. And so, I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I'm going to do some parenthetical teaching on CERN just a little bit because this is I'm, it all tied in so beautifully. I'm going to have to listen to it again on, on the phone that she, she recorded, but it was it all tied in with what's going on now. Amen. Amen. Give my sons one more hand. Appreciate them. Amen. For that service. Amen. Thank you, young men. Appreciate y'all. Are y'all first, John? Amen. And this is called the frequency of Christ or the Christ frequency amen now uh, I talked before about what they're doing over in Switzerland uh, it's a company called CERN amen now you should have already heard something or done some research on it yourself if not go on our web our YouTube site and watch the video from a few weeks ago that I put on there when I ministered about CERN that'll catch you up to where we are but 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 I'll do a little bit of review so you can understand what they're doing. What they're doing is they have something called a, a large hydrogen collider. And what they're doing is they're crashing particles at the speed of light. Particles matter. Say matter. matter. Now matter is the building blocks of everything that you see and even things you don't see. They're crashing them. It's a, they have a 17-mile circle 300 feet under the ground and they are amping this thing up to run these particles through this accelerator at the speed of light hoping that when they crash these particles into one another it will recreate what they say they're doing is they're trying to recreate what happened at the big bang this is what they're doing now we know that that's a lie because there was no big bang but what the real motive uh, the scientists and physicists have said is to open a portal, opening a portal, opening another dimension, okay? This is what the real goal of this machine is. Are y'all there? They started up this machine, I uh, think, about three years ago, but the po it wasn't, didn't have enough power. And because it didn't have enough power, they couldn't do what they wanted to do. So they decided to double the power of this machine. And the machine, they started it March of this year, and it will be at full power in September. Amen. As a matter of fact, September 23rd is when it will be at full power. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Now, the scientists, have, they've tried to say they're not sure what's going to happen uh, when, the, when this thing opens up. They're not sure what's going to come through this dimension, this portal that they are opening. Now, what I'm telling you all is very deep, but the problem is, is that through Christianity, actually, we've been kind of dumbed down. We're supposed to be understanding the supernatural, but we've kind of been dumbed down from the supernatural. Now, the world in Hollywood is into the supernatural, understanding the supernatural, and we don't understand the supernatural. Are y'all there? And so the Bible, that's why the book of Revelations up until this point was so difficult to understand because they were talking about supernatural and, and they were talking about technology that came from the supernatural realm. Technology that came from the supernatural realm. That's why the Bible says in Daniel, shut up the, end of, shut up the book to the end when knowledge will be increased. So Christians no longer really understand the supernatural, but these people who don't know God are experiencing and wanting the supernatural Amen. And Satan is showing them the supernatural. 
And for some reason, we don't understand. That's what the end of the book is talking about. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? So these people in Switzerland, I've showed y'all the, 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 the pictures. They have the God of Shiva outside of their uh, facility, and they are saying that they are going to bring, uh, to, to open these portals. Now, we know in the book, now, this all, how can I get y'all here? This ties back into Genesis chapter 6, when the Bible says that the sons of God, which were the angels, came down in Genesis 6, and they had sex with the daughters of men. That means angels was mixing with people. Amen. They mixed with these females, and the Bible says, from the angels and the women mixing, a race of giants was produced called the Nephilim. Y'all got what I'm saying? Amen. Now, the Nephilim, uh, the Bible says these was men of renown. Now, what that means is these are what your myths are made upon. Amen. See, we thought Hercules and all that was a myth, but it was really giants that the Bible says was produced. The Bible says once these giants was produced, they, they got a taste for human flesh. Amen. That's what the Bible says in Genesis. And so they, they turned on man and began to devour men. You got what I'm saying? This was a reason for the flood because they had, the Bible says, sinned against birds and beasts. They began to mix the DNA of animals and come up with these hybrid creatures that God did not create like these dinosaurs. Uh, y'all got one. I'm trying to help y'all now. Now I'm not going. I'm not going to really deal with whether you believe or not. That's on you. I'm just going to tell you the facts, and you get it or don't. Amen. They created this. Uh, okay, so the Bible says because they had corrupted God's creation. This is why God was so harsh in flooding the whole world and destroying everybody. And you didn't know that at first because you thought God is a terrible God just to kill these good people. <laughs> Even the movie just came out, Noah, how they made like these were these people were just uh, they were sinful, but they were still good people. No, they were these people had 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 uh, altered their DNA by mixing with beasts and, and birds and these fallen creatures. So they were no longer God's creation. That's why the Bible says only Noah was righteous, meaning only Noah had the correct blood. He still had the correct DNA and the correct bloodline. So God saved Noah and his family. Because they the only ones had the correct bloodline. Everybody else had already partook of or mixed with strange flesh. Do y'all got what I'm trying to say? And because of the mixture with the strange flesh, they, uh, uh, the Bible says that uh, they created this, these other hybrid creatures and violence was in the earth. And God said, let me destroy this earth. Now, for years and years, you've heard the story of Noah and you just thought that people were just sinning like they just sinning today. And you just thought, well, God just got tired of them sinning. So he's going to just kill everybody. And, you know, God's killing children and everybody. But you got to realize these people were no longer his creation. Come on. What an indictment Satan used that against our God. How cruel our God is to kill all these people, not realizing that these people, through their mixing with the fallen angels, they, they altered who they was. And the Bible says in the last days, it'll be just like in the days of Noah. That means what they were doing then, we'll be doing now. What they were doing then, we'll be doing now. So now we have this same situation where they have this... Uh, um, they have this uh, CERN, this, this, this uh, portal that they're opening, and the goal is, now listen, the Bible says that when God got, this is even in Enoch, the Bible says that, that God got angry at those uh, angels that came down and corrupted man. Not only did they just mix their DNA with man and create giants, but, but they said they taught men about war and weapons and violence and how to mix and even about something as simple as eye makeup. That's why the Egyptians' eyes were the way they were, because they understood eyes are seductive. So they taught women how to, how to allure men with the eyes. So y'all put your own two and two together. But anyway, but these are the things the angels, the fallen angels was doing. And, that, and so the Bible says that God had got mad at them, and he, and he chained them and cast them into Taratus. Are y'all there? In, a, in the pit, in the abyss, is where they went. Y'all got what I'm saying? Come on, I want y'all to hear me because this is the whole point. They were cast into the abyss. Now the Bible says it'll be just like in the days of Noah. In the last days, it'll be just like in the days of Noah. Which means these same fallen creatures that was here will be just, they will, they will come back again. 
They're not going to come back as the fallen angels that they were. They're going to come. I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm, I'm mess you up now. They're going to come back as alive. And the, uh, y'all ain't ready for me this morning. They're going to come back as alive. They're going to say that they're not. They're going to say they're aliens. These are the people. These are the creatures that created us. Y'all, uh, y'all ain't going to. I'm just trying to help. Get it or don't. Get it or don't. You don't watch all the movies on it anyway. You should have known what they said. It's funny how y'all believe in the movie. I'm telling you in the Bible. I can tell you in the Bible, you don't understand it. Maybe this is too real. <laughs> Say, just like the days of Noah. Okay, so that means these fallen angels was on the earth mixing with the DNA of man, and that'll be the same thing. Now, the problem was is that because God in his infinite wisdom put, now I got to give you a little re parenthetical teaching. The Bible says in Genesis 1 and 1 that, 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 that darkness was on the face of the deep and the earth was without form and void. Come on, without form and void. The word void in the Hebrew really means chaos. The earth was chaotic. It was, it, was, it was totally covered by darkness. And the darkness was not just night. Darkness was a thing. Oh, y'all not ready. Darkness was just not devoid of light. Darkness was an entity. It's a thing. Now, this is what this machine in Switzerland is capturing. Called, they're capturing darkness. It's called antimatter. Uh, y'all not ready for me this morning? Are y'all going to go or not? Because I'll, I'll switch over here and tell y'all something about Moses and we can go home. Come on. I wanna, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to enlighten you. This is why we, I needed to follow up on the certain message because you don't understand what they're actually capturing. I wanted, that's what we want to talk about. That's why you're going to need the frequency of Christ. <laughs> Lord, give me the strength to do this message. All right. Now, so what was I saying? Let me get back there. What did I say before? I... What did you say? Okay, they, the goal, now, now what they're doing over in with this hydrant collider, remember 17 mile w wide circle, this, this is the biggest machine in the world, 300 miles underground in Switzerland. They are, they are now, what they say they're doing is they're trying to find out how to create the Big Bang. That's what they say. Now they know that that's not what they're doing. Because if there was a Big Bang, what would happen? What would, what would happen? If it really was a big, if they really was trying to create a big bang, you're talking about a big explosion. The biggest explosion ever. The earth would not be able to take the explosion. So that's not what they're trying to do. What they're, what it is, and then that's see, and then I got, I got to help you. Y'all ready? Because all this got to tie into Genesis 6. If you don't get this part, you're going to miss the whole point. That's why I keep trying to remind y'all, just like the days of Noah. Y'all got what I'm saying? Now, so remember those fallen angels were banished. In, the Bible says reserved in chains. They were banished to the abyss, to the pit. And they are there until the time of the end. Now, the way they will be, the way they are being released is not that they are escaping on their own. Satan is using man to create the opening. By giving man what he thinks is knowledge of technology. But he's building, he's building Satan a way to get these angels out of the abyss. Now the abyss is not like a hole in the earth. The abyss is a, they vanish to another dimension. The people over in CERN have said they have, because they have gone back with the finest particles of matter, they have found out that there is a wall. I told you about this wall that is, but that is, that is keeping back the dark realm or the, or the dark matter. They found out there is a wall. Now, when they started up the machine the first time, that's what they found out. Remember, these people have been working on this machine since they say 1950, but it's too big. They had to be working on this machine. They really say for hundreds of years because it's too big. So Satan's been doing this a long time. This ain't just no, that's why they try to make you think they just got this technology. No, they've been working on this a long time. Because because those 13 Illuminati blood families have been, this is what their goal has been. To, now really, if you really want to be honest, this is where all the world resources was going at. 
so they couldn't get enough titanium and lithium that they need for these machines. That's why they went in every nation. Now, I'm going to give you a whole revelation. Y'all didn't even see. I'm going to tell y'all something y'all didn't even see. This was the true reason behind wars, to get the raw materials to build this machine. That's the biggest machine in the world. You got to understand how much resources it took. I wish I had a picture of it, to build this big machine. So, like in your cell phone right now, there's different minerals. Now, this machine needs all of these types of minerals, and they got... And just think how much of it, they, of it they need. So the war, in, if, so they had that war in, in Afghanistan. They found a a vein of lithium that was worth over a trillion dollars. Didn't tell y'all that, did they? Didn't tell y'all that's what it was about, right? But that's what they went in Afghanistan for, because they need that for the machine. They also needed gold for this machine. I ain't got time to go too deep into that. But most of the resources that you think in this war was them going in countries, taking resources to build this machine for the Satan. <laughs> Can y'all handle what I'm trying to tell you? Oh, are y'all there? Now, so this machine that they are, okay, so, so um, what was I saying before that? Let me get my thoughts back together. What do you say? Resources. Well, that's what, that's what made me jump off, think about the resources. Oh, yeah, they've been working on this machine for a long time. Now, over, over in, uh, in, um, in Switzerland, they, so, so this machine is, like I said, 17 miles. And now, they say they're trying to create the big bank conditions. But... When they started it up the first time, they found out that they were able to collect material or matter from the other side. Remember, from, from the other side of this wall that they say they're trying to find. And now, what they started up this time was they said, we're trying to find out what this wall is made of that's holding back the other side. Because God, in his infinite love and wisdom, when he said, remember, the earth was already covered with this darkness. Come on, talk to me. It was in Genesis 1 and 1, the earth was already covered with this darkness. But when God said, let there be light, the Bible says the light shine in darkness and the darkness cannot overcome it. So God put a wall of light around this earth to hold back the darkness. They have, because they are, remember what I said, they're trying to find the smallest particles of what everything is made of. And they found out when they started up the machine, there is a something, a barrier that is holding back the darkness. Now, the reason why they want to remove the barrier, because they want to collect the darkness, which they call antimatter. They want the antimatter. You got what I'm saying? Oh, you, okay, we got matter. And antimatter, right? That means matter is good, antimatter is bad. Matter would be light, antimatter would be darkness. When they started up the machine, they found out that they could capture this darkness. Now, the darkness that they are capturing, they say, is connected to the other side, to the other dimension. And they say when they capture it, it attracts demonic forces. The darkness they capture it. Now, from 1950, they could only capture a gram. A gram. It took them 50 years, some years, to capture a gram of antimatter. That's why they're trying to remove the barrier so they can capture more. They said what this thing is doing now, the power they put into it, which is why everybody's electric bill went up, because they, they need all their power for this machine. That's how much power they need. I ain't got time to talk about that. But they said now the power they have, they are going to be able to collect pounds of this stuff within months. Pounds. Now, scientists, uh, Stephen Hawkins and Neil, you know, the black physicist Neil deGrasse, he said one gram of antimatter is four nuclear bombs. One gram. They collect in pounds. Y'all got what I'm saying? So the goal is to remove the barrier that God has placed around this, this earth. In order, now, scientists have already known there was an invisible barrier around this earth. Y'all got that? The Bible says that he that restraining evil 
shall restrain evil until he is taken out of the way. I told y'all they not, it, it didn't say that who, he that restrained the evil left. It said he's taken. Means they found a way to remove him. The, him is the spirit. When he said let there be light, light still is. Light still is. This is the barrier that they can't, that's why angels now, because angels are of the light, they can come through the barrier of, oh y'all ain't ready for me. Listen, angels don't need, listen to me, angels don't need, uh, angels can come through the barrier because the barrier is made of them. They can pass through the light. But darkness cannot, remember darkness cannot overcome the light, right? So demons have to be, need your agreement to get her. They need your light in order to, to, get, to give them a hold through that. That's why you have to do rituals and witchcraft and all kinds of demonic stuff you have to do because you got to get the agreement so they can come. They can't just come here. Why? There is a barrier. Did y'all hear what I'm saying? There is a barrier that's keeping spirits out. Now, but when men get an agreement by messing with, the Bible says, Satan's devices or the occult which is what we call this hidden knowledge that the Egyptians had, that Babylon them had. That's how they was able to build all of these uh, edifices and all of this technology they had back then because they were getting it from the other side. That's why they can't figure out how the Egyptians did it to this day. They are dumbfounded. How did they build this stuff? They don't know how they did it. They know how they did it. They won't want you to know how they did it because they want you to think that man was dumb. Like we're evolving into knowledge when in reality the knowledge was already there. This is what the Aztecs had. The Aztecs had the same knowledge. Why? Because it's not, tech, it's not, it's not scientific. It's supernatural. When they got in agreement with these fallen angels, they gave them knowledge. That's why these 13 Illuminati blood families... Every time somebody digging and finds something, they run and steal it and take the artifacts so you don't really realize the technology was already here before. They've already said that the pyramid, the great pyramid of Giza was a energy source. It was a portal. It's a energy source. It's a stargate. They've already knew what it was. It was covered by material that made it more conductive, but they stole all of the outer shell that was on the uh, big Giza pyramid. So what we're, so I said, that's why I said, that's why Ecclesiastes said there's nothing new under the sun. What Satan did before, he going to do it again. Y'all got what I'm saying? That's why Jesus gave the greatest warning. It'll be just like the days of Noah. So we, we jumped over there and didn't understand what were they doing? Well, the fallen angels had come down. Y'all got what I'm saying? Now, remember these spirits, these fallen angels were banished. Say banished. And so, uh, there is a dilemma. Now, okay, I, I, before, I, before I go there, I'll go here. Now, because God understands that his people, his people need, oh, uh, let, let me bless you. This is a revelation I got just, just, just sitting in the bed this morning. This was messing me up. No, I was there last night riding back in the car. Listen, because my question was, God, why are we here? I mean, we could have avoided the suffering of life. Because, <laughs> you know, if you understand life, life is suffering. There are some good times followed by a lot of suffering. Why do we live and then we die? These are just the ponderings of, of life. As I was riding back in the car, the Lord said, life was a gift that I gave you. He said, the only way you would really know me, life was the only way you would know me. So I gave you the gift of life because that's the greatest love I could have bestowed upon any being was to give them, which... In, listen, in him is life. In him is life. He says, so the gift that I gave you was I gave you a part of me. He says, so you don't know because you was born into a sinful world how beautiful this gift of life really is. 
because you're suffering, but you don't know. He said, but because of the gift that I have given you, I gave this, this gift that you have, I gave you opportunity to live with me forever. That's a great gift. So that's why you're here. Because a great, a, 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 a loving father decided he wanted to love his children on a level. He said, this is why Satan is here. Because it wouldn't be real life if you didn't have a choice. This is, did you ever think, why was Satan in the garden? Why didn't he just not kill Satan? Then Adam and Eve could have lived there without no problem. But it's really not, you wouldn't have truth. Because God said real life is choice. You wouldn't have had real life if it wasn't for the choice to do wrong. You hear what I'm saying? And because the Bible says that before the foundations of the world, Christ was already slain, knowing that the life that God gave man, he would, he would, he would mess up with that life. And God already had a plan to redeem man because the goal was to show man how good his life is. So, what is, so what's the whole promise of God? Eternal life. Life is the whole goal. Do y'all got what I'm saying? So this is the reason that you are here. Because when it's all over, you're going to find out that he really is the greatest, the most high. He really is. Let me, let me get on with this message. Are y'all done? Now, let me, get, let me get back to this. Let me get back to this. Now, so let me, let me start here. So, so, so remember, I said in this machine, they are collecting this darkness. Okay, I told y'all last time that, 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 that they said when this antimatter gets close to a person or comes in contact with a person, it transforms, it literally magnifies the darkness in, in a person. Now, I'm going to show y'all this. They're they putting it in front of y'all face. You're not really seeing it, but I'm going to show you what the mark of the beast is really going to be because it's not just the mark. It's not just because I told y'all before that the Bible says that once that they took the mark, they could not be redeemed. So it wasn't just a mark, but it, 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 the mark of the beast is you saying you want to be changed. You are signing up to be altered, not just have a mark because you're no longer, the reason why you won't be eligible because you will no longer be a qualified because you will have altered your DNA. Y'all got one? Now let me show you this. All the sci-fi movies be telling you the same thing about antimatter, darkness, antimatter. Now remember, I'm going to show you how I'm going to show you this. This is the best way I can show you. In the last movie, not the last movie, but one of the movies I was watching, uh, the trans, not the Transformers, but that's even in that too. But because but, I told you, Satan always puts what he does. He doesn't hide what he do. He knows that we are so dumbed down. Only the ones that he, that they say are enlightened. These Illuminati, these enlightened occultic people will understand what they're actually watching. We who have been lied to by our education system to, to give us what we thought was knowledge, but it was only to pull the wool over our eyes so we don't see the real world. Is this too much? So what Satan does is he always puts what he does out in the open. He's, he, what he does, he doesn't hide it like we think. He, he makes it so obvious that you don't pay attention to it. You just ain't paying attention to it. Now... So what they do in the movies is Hollywood, of course, is a cultic. It was always an arm of the Illuminati to condition you to receive. It's called uh, programming. They're programming you for what's coming. That's why you, we are accepting so much that we're accepting. We're not just accepting it because, because we just woke up one day and wanted to accept it. They conditioned us. Even with this homosexual stuff, we were conditioned years ago to accept this. We didn't just start accepting this. We, we started, we, this is a long time ago. This was way back with Bugs Bunny, when Bugs Bunny would dress up like a woman. They was working on us a long time to get us to accept homosexuality. And that's why back in the 80s, when they, all the guys, the hair bands, and Michael Jackson with his sweet self and, and ready for the world, these guys walking around with baby hair and curls, we was, already, we was already being conditioned for what was coming. Hollywood is about programming. So they put this stuff in your face. So you can have a reference in your subconscious for it and you'll receive it based upon the fact that you already have a reference. It's familiar to you already. Now y'all hearing what I'm trying to tell y'all. This is the reason why it's a known fact 
that if, this is the reason why it's a known fact that if, that, 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 that if a child uh, watches sexual images, they'll become promiscuous. Because it's, it's sowing a seed, a reference in them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now, so the movie I'm talking about, what's going to happen? This, this is the way the market of beast is. Because I, I kept saying, Lord, it's got to be, with, I understand it's the technology that we don't realize that's going to cause people not to understand what this mark is. Remember in the movie, The Avengers, I don't know if y'all remember this. Yeah. That movie was full of what I'm telling y'all, because it was all about opening the portal, letting these beings come through. It's all of what they're talking about. Y'all yeah. there? The, 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 the Thor's brother, Loki, the, the wicked one, he came through this portal. Y'all yeah. remember? He came through the portal, yeah. and he was trying to steal this energy source. Right. And Samuel Jackson, which was on the other side, he uh, tried to take the portal, tried to take the energy source before he could steal it. Well, Loki had a staff, yeah. and when he would walk up to... Now, the staff had the same energy source as the tesseract. As the, in, when he would walk up to somebody, he would take the staff and put it in their chest, and he would fill them with antimatter, darkness. And the person would transform into, their eyes would change, and they would become controlled. Go back again. Go back to the Matrix. When, when the Smiths would walk up and put his hand and... Transform and all of a sudden the darkness will overcome a person and control them. They telling you the same thing. This is what that's why when you sign up for the mark of the beast, you're gonna be altered. That's why you're not gonna be able to be saved after that. Now now if you rewind it and go back and think about the Bible says the islands are gone through the through the plague, through the wrath of God, the, the islands are gone, the mountains are gone, the earth is on fire, a third of everything is now dead, but men are still on the earth shaking their fists at God. Why? I used to think they would be angry and demonic, and, and, but I realized that's really not what it is. They realized they can't be redeemed. They're angry because they can't be. It's not that they was angry at God. They was angry because they can't be redeemed. Remember the Bible says men will want to die. They will seek death, but death will flee from them. They will, at that point, the, the rules will be up. The deception, this this. New Age deity they thought is the Messiah that they have received that comes out of chaos, which is what they are creating, chaos. They will realize that was Satan, but they have already accepted the mark. And they are altered now. They cannot be redeemed. That's where the torment, I don't think it was so much anger as it was anguish, torment, that we can no longer be redeemed. Are y'all there? Are y'all there? Now, now, listen, listen, Lord. Oh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna tie this in. Let me tie it up because I gotta get y'all here. Now, now, remember. Now they say they're 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 collecting this antimatter. Now I told you this, the the physicists said the goal is to weaponize it. Weaponize darkness. What does that mean? Well, what did I just say about how he, he put the thing in? It's it's to feel you. Now listen. Those who are not sealed. Listen to me. This is what salvation is. Man, y'all think salvation is just, I, I receive Jesus in my heart. No, salvation is going to really mean something in this last day. Because those that, listen, listen to me. Because without salvation, you will not be able to fight off this darkness. You will not be able to fight off. That's why, why you think the Bible says, if God had not shortened the days. No flesh will be saved. It's going to get so dark. The Bible says, if the righteous barely make it, where shall the sinner appear? So you don't understand. The goal of Satan is to release the conditions before Genesis 1, when the earth was covered with darkness. What does Revelation say? The moon, the sun shall be Darkness, the moon shall turn to blood. It's really saying it'll be dark clouds. Darkness will be upon the earth. He's creating, are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Come on, can y'all handle this? So this is the reason why, now, 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 now you're going to understand what I'm saying. Go to John 5, 1 John 5, 1 John 5. 
This is why being saved means more than just going to church. That's why I don't let these cats talk to me about d d religions. Because I know that ain't got no light in it. I know, I know what overcomes. Listen to me. And you've already been living a life of small overcomings. These small overcomings are preparing you to overcome. That's why you shouldn't curse what you're going. See, if you ain't going through nothing, I'm going to tell you why. Because you ain't got enough light to be a threat to the enemy. The only reason why those that are really saved are going through something that they really can't even tell you how they go through back-to-back -back stuff and they almost think they ain't saved. But they only going through it because they are saved. Why would God allow that? Why is God allowing you to go through that? Because you need these small overcomings to prepare you for the big thing. I made a scenario yesterday. It's like a boxing, a boxer that before he fights, he spars with a, with a boxing opponent. In the boxing match, in the sparring match, they're not really throwing all the power because the whole goal of sparring is just attrition, stamina building. Just how long can we go? That's what sparring is. But he is preparing for the fight. Now, once the, once the true fight come, the opponent is throwing all his power. And the only thing that's going to cause you to be able to sustain yourself is based upon all of the hours of stamina. See, you just in little fights. Little fight, not real fight, little fights. You know, just, you know, oh, sickness in my body. That's a little fight. That's something you can overcome. You know, that's, you know, my, my child's acting a fool. Okay, little fight. See, these are, these are, these, this is the pressure you need. Because without this pressure, you wouldn't train. A boxer, the boxer that, do you, see people, I was watching Floyd Mayweather. They say he got the hardest training regiment there is. They say he just trains and trains and trains. And they don't know why. I said, I know why. He's scared. He's taking the opponent seriously. And he knows if I out if I if I if I out train him, I'll beat him by out training him. I may not be able to outpower him, but my but he that endures to the end. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? So this is why. You need your trials and your test because you would be lazy and fat spiritually and comfortable and you wouldn't be ready for no fighting. So God allows us to go through these things. What we call, you know, while we ready to quit, not knowing this is just what you, this is the pressure you need. Because if it wasn't for this pressure right here, you wouldn't have learned to pray. You wouldn't have learned to depend on God. You wouldn't have no faith. But what is, well, why, why so much pressure for us in these last days? You do know that's pressure. Look at what we're having to deal with. We're having to deal with the fact a man can walk in the bathroom with you yeah. now and you, what, well, why is so much pressure that our children are being almost told to have sex with grown folk? These pedophiles are coming out trying to get their right. Why so much pressure? The gay cats are telling you, if you don't marry me, we're going to shut your, sue your church out of business. Why, why, why didn't people before us have all this pressure? Because our generation has a greater thing coming. The darkness coming is so thick that all, now listen to me, listen to me. I'm, 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 I'm going to give you the precept. The Bible says that David, destiny was always to fight Goliath. Goliath was the thing that got David into his destiny. It was Goliath. But before David met Goliath, he fought a bear. Then he fought a lion. Now, he could have thought the lion was the whole fight. Not realize the lion was a fight. Why did he, why, now, now you know why David was so confident when he fought Goliath. It was his training. 
he understood when I stand, there's a power that comes upon me. So I know that if I beat the lion and I beat the bear, I know I'll be Goliath. So this is why you need the war that you're going through or you would not be prepared for the war coming. Because the Bible says, he that endure it to the shall be saved. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? Let me go on. That's why you shouldn't curse your trials. Are y'all there? Now, I said 1 John, right? Chapter 5, verse 4. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And, the, and this is the victory to overcome the world, even our faith. Whatsoever is born of God does what? Whatsoever is born of God does what? Now, what you don't realize is all around you is the world. The Bible says Satan is the prince and the power of the air. See, there's an invis that's all kinds of stuff happening in this world. You don't see it happening. It's all kinds, of, all kinds of stuff is fighting you right now. You don't even see it. But Satan is the prince and the power of the world, of what's around you, this atmosphere. This is why he hates Christians because we are the only one that can penetrate this atmosphere. Now listen, 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 because if, if you don't get this, if you don't get this, you're going to miss everything I'm saying. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. The Bible says in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. Everything was made by him. Nothing that was made without him was made. In him was life. In him was life. In him was life. The life was the light. Come on, you missed it. If you, if you don't get this, you missed it. In him was life, the life was the light. Light shines into darkness. Darkness cannot comprehend or overcome it. I told you before that if that you are here with a gift. You ready? The gift is life. The gift is life. This is why demons want it back. They know what the gift is. That's why they want your body. They won't they won't live again. No, no mess. Listen. The gift is life, right? I told you that you are made up of matter and antimatter. We are all made up of matter and antimatter. We are made up of light and darkness. You got what I'm saying? Darkness is sin, synonymous of sin. You got what I'm saying? If you don't meet the light, your darkness will grow. This is the reason why people get, the Bible says, remember your creator in the days of your youth. What happens is, if you don't meet Christ, the light that shines into this darkness and overcomes the darkness in you, then you will grow. In, in darkness. Now listen to what I'm going to tell you. Salvation was not just, I believe Jesus in my heart. And in my, no, salvation, the Bible, oh, 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 oh. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Remember, I, I, you ain't got to go there, but this is in John 3 and 3. Remember when Nicodemus came to Christ and was talking about being born again. And, and, then, and, then, and then Nicodemus said, must I enter back into my mother's womb? And Jesus said, and Jesus said, no, 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 you missed it. And listen, Jesus told him, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see, meaning he'll remain in darkness. That's why when you truly get saved, light come on, and you see. And, you, and listen, not only do the light come on, not only do you, are you able to see, but you're able to be seen. This is where your test ought to come from. Because now Satan is able, remember, oh, listen, 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 listen to me. If it was dark outside, we cut off all these lights, and there was no light in here, right? And all the light we had was this. This right here would be so bright because it's surrounded by darkness. This is why you're getting attacked. 
because this is what you look like. Rem imagine this surrounded by darkness. You stand out. You stand out because you are now, listen, you are now a partaker. Now, what does this mean? Listen, listen, listen. Born again means regen re. Born again, re. Do over. Regenerated. Re. That's what's happened to your spirit. You got re. Generated, generated, generate power source. You change the power source. Now listen, Jesus said, if, now listen closely, if the light in you be darkness, how great the darkness. So the, I told you there's two lights in you. If the light, now that means you can grow in darkness. If the light in you be darkness, if you feed that darkness, how great the darkness will be. Now we were, listen, this is the bad thing. We were all born in darkness, sin. When we met Christ, we changed power sources. It's not that I didn't have light. I just had the wrong source of light. So I changed sources, but once I plug into his light, I get regenerated. Can y'all handle what I'm saying here? Do you understand regeneration? Means my energy source has changed. Let me show you this here. Scientists notice that matter, say matter, actually is light. It flickers on and off. It flickers on and off so fast you can't see it. But you are flickering on and off. Because that's what you are. You are light. Come on, you are light. But before you were saved, you was a different type of light. The light that's coming is Lucifer. He's light. But he's just the wrong light. He's a darkness. Do y'all, can y'all? If the light in you be darkness. So, what, so, so that's what he's doing. He's creating, he's increasing the darkness. Now listen, those that are not regenerated. Now listen to what I'm going to tell you. I'm, I'm going to help you because I got to go. Every man knows that what makes a car continue to turn is an alternator. Some of you sisters probably the alternator went out and you didn't know what's going on. What's wrong? But there's an alternator, right? Now, now, a car will start without an alternator. But what happens to it? It has to use its own power, the battery. Without an alternator, the battery will run down. Let it sink a little bit. Try to help you all This is you. This, you. You're dying. There's no eternal life. You're running down. Come on. You're running down. Just like a car without an alternator. It will start. It will run until the power of the battery runs out. Once the power of the battery runs out, it dies. Y'all got what I'm saying? Listen to me. Because this is your energy. The energy source you was born with. <laughs> this battery... We was born with this energy source. It was created for you to have a small span of life. It was supposed to start. It runs down. You die. That's the end of your life. I'm talking about even because, you know, once you die, if you don't go with God, you still, you, you still die. And that's damnation. You're going to hell. You lost your life. Right? Now, your battery's running down, right? When you meet... Now, 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 our problem is the energy source we have. <laughs> Come on, talk to me. Because this is the energy source I was born with. I was born into sin. I was born into this, this darkness. Right? Now, at some point in my life, somebody like Deacon Grant says, man, you know, you know why you're running down? Know why your lights are always flickering? 
Know why you stopping on side of the road? Because you don't have an alternator. Nothing is recharging you. Come on. You're not being recharged. So guess what happens? But what he tells me makes me say, you know what I need? I need an alternator. So I go to the post store and I go to the post store and I say, I need an alternator. But he says, okay, well, you know what it's going to cost. I thought salvation was free. No, this is going to cost. This is, this is going to cost. <laughs> Are you there? He says, well, okay, well, well what is it going to cost? And he gives you the price. She says, well, if, 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 if I pay this, then I get this alternator, right? He said, yeah, come on, pay the alternator. So you pay the price. What's the price that you're going to drive his car the way, where I tell you to? <laughs> if I give you power to go, you're going to go where I say go. That's the deal. Do you want the deal or not? Or you'll just go ahead and run down. Why don't people serve him? They don't want to go where he want them to go. So they'd rather ride with their battery pack running down. Come on. So then he says, okay, I'll tell you what. You say, okay, I'll sign up for the deal. Lord, present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is my reasonable service. So now I say, okay, I accept the deal. He gives me salvation. Alternator. It's my salvation. Now I don't have to die. I have something that will regenerate me. When others are running down, I still can be, I'm regenerated. See, that's why I said the life I now live is I live in Christ. I live in this regenerative life. Come on. Because in him was life. This is what whole goal. Now listen, he gave me this generator, right? Every man in here knows that once you get an alternator, you can take the battery out. And the car will still run without a battery. Y'all didn't catch what I said. Every man know that you, and once you, once you start a car and it got an alternator in it, you can take out the old power source. The car will still run without the battery. It'll still run as long as you don't turn it off. Now, if you turn it off, the alternator won't help you because the alternator doesn't give you the spark. You, can, you got that at the beginning of your life. <laughs> Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? This is why, listen to me, this is the reason why Satan hates you. The reason why the Antichrist is trying to get, going to get, trying to get rid of us is because Listen to me closely. Remember I said, it's the light of you be darkness. He's, he's releasing darkness. They even collect the antimatter. It's darkness. It's what they're collecting. They're going to use it. They're going to release this darkness on people. I told you, they said once this darkness, once this antimatter gets close to people, all of the inhibitions, all of the evil in the person gets magnified. This is why people are going to be so wicked. They're not going to be people. I don't know what they're going to be, but they're going to be messed up. <laughs> now, the dark, remember, the darkness cannot overcome the light. So you are going to be an anomaly. You get what I'm saying? Because there are going to be people that are saying, why aren't you going crazy? Why aren't you, why, why are you, what's wrong with you? Now, you, you don't know it, but, in, but demons know it, that you light, regenerate, like a car running. Your car's running. They know, I got to get this light out of her. Because people, they, just by them, they ain't got to even preach. You ain't got to say nothing. Just by you being her, they will know that, that what they serving is not the real God. Based on the light. Are y'all there? That's what salvation is. Let me go deeper. Even witches, I'm going to tell you how witches will tell you this, if you, if you know anything about witches. I don't know about them. I know something about what they do. 
they will tell you that the way they try to curse people is they say that Satan shows them a light. If a person has this light on them, they can't curse them. They can't trip them. They can't do nothing to them. So they look for those that don't have the light. Now, I told you getting saved was not just accepting Christ. I just love Christ. No, getting saved was a regeneration, a switching of a power source. Do y'all not hear what I'm trying to tell y'all? Think about this. Think about your life, you, 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 energy going out like a phone dying. You know, that's the worst feeling. You so The phone is dying. And all of a sudden, you plug it in. And that's what happened when you got saved. It's energy source. That's why your eyes, it was so much, it was so much light. Your eyes, you immediately saw, like, what, how, how was I even in this? How did I even get caught up in this? You can see, all of a sudden, what do you see easily? Darkness. You see darkness. You know, this is wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. You don't even know why you know it's wrong. It's just wrong because you lit up. Light. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Let me, let, me, let, me, let me try to close this out. I don't even know how I'm going to close this out. But I wanted you to understand that that's the reason why this is what the mark of the beast is. It's, a, it's about, see, they, they need to know whether you can receive, whether you will be part of the program to receive this darkness. But you can't. You can't. Did you know you can't receive darkness? You can mess up. You can sin. But darkness can't overcome you. Did y'all hear what I said? You, darkness, I didn't say, you can get oppressed, you can be at fault, but darkness cannot overcome you. So when he, I, I, I don't know if, if y'all know this, I, I'll give y'all a movie to show you the concept, if you ever seen it. It was a movie that came out, me and my wife had saw it called Divergent. And in this movie, it was a weird movie, but this, what they were saying was true. There was certain people that this program wouldn't work on. And them was the one they hated. They would, they would kill them because they understood that we don't want people to know that this program won't work on everybody. They're telling you the same thing. Every movie you just about, they're telling you the same thing. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? This is what you are. Did y'all catch what I said? This is what you are. This is why salvation is more than what you think it is. Let me get done. Turn over here to uh, John, Gospel of John chapter 1. I'm, I'm going to get done with this. Hallelujah. You know, there's a scripture that says those that sleep, sleep on what do you think it's saying? Those that are in darkness, those that are, they they, they going they gonna remain in darkness. Why do you think Jesus said, I'm, when I'm talking, I'm talking in parables. Only people going to get it are the ones that are already woke. The ones that already have light in them will get what I'm saying. You got what I'm saying? But there was people, that's why right now you be trying to get somebody to say you witness to them. They, I don't understand that. But what about Buddha? See, they, it's so much darkness that they can't even hear what you're saying. They're in darkness. Are you understand what I'm saying? Amen. And so what Satan is done, doing, he distracts people with darkness. That's why he pays his entertainers so much money to put out all of this influence to keep you from seeing the light. Why you think there's no real Christian entertainers in the mainstream? Because he don't want that light. He done took over the Christian gospel anyway. So, they, so now he's with them. That's why when you listen to that music, it's a different feeling coming from it now. You know why? Because it's darkness. The same anti-matter is coming from that music. You know why? Because the producers that are producing the music are not Christians. Because we never understood that it was never about the words. It's the music. The music is the vehicle for light and darkness. Did y'all hear what I said? The music is the vehicle for light and darkness. Light and darkness travels through music. So, we, so this is the reason why, listen to me, you never heard the words to most songs before you were saved. You never heard what they were saying. I went back, man, one day and said, what was they, what was they talking about? What was they, what, what was they talking about? And then I started listening. I said, whoa. What, they, what, what was they saying? What, what were we saying? 
I even remember saying something I thought they were saying. But that ain't what they were saying. And so you got to understand that most of the songs that are written are written from this dark place. And you think it's talking about a woman or a man, but they're talking about Satan. Most of the songs are talking about, talking about Satan. Most of the videos and stuff they got out now, it's all about fallen angels. It's the worship of, if you notice, look at the videos, it's all about fallen angels, it's worship of fallen angels. Because they're, they're, they're getting you the understanding of the fallen coming back. That's what they keep talking about. That's the reason why all this music is always about the same thing. You hear what I'm saying? All right. And I'm not, I'm not talking about the hip-hop stuff either. I'm talking about the, I remember the old love songs, the R&B songs. I, I didn't know what they were talking about. You know, because, you know, you're just listening to it, and then you don't know what they're talking about. You, 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 you're thinking that they're saying one, like, like, <laughs> y'all, some of y'all too young for this. <laughs> I ain't going to go there. I ain't going to go there. I ain't going to go there. But anyway, trust me, a lot of that is written in darkness. And that's why, it, and that's, that's the reason why music is so powerful, because music will captivate you. Music is a, is, Satan understands music. He was the one over worship. Lucifer was over worship. He knows what music does to people. So he understands the frequencies he got to put out to get you to receive darkness. That's what it's all about. That's the reason why, the reason why for these guys go kill somebody, they got to get full of that music and full of that potion and they got to get high and they got to get that music in them. What are they doing? They just inhaling darkness. I'm trying to get as dark as I can to get these, so these thoughts in my head, I can fulfill these evil thoughts in my head. Nobody does nothing without music. Nobody does nothing evil without music. Music is a, it's always a soundtrack to evil. Anything somebody done, it was a music that went along with it. Because that's part of the conditioning process that gives a person the darkness to do what they're doing. That's the reason why the music is always, now why is all the music always demonic now? It's gay, it's demonic. It's, why? Because they understand this is how you receive. This is the way this generation receives. They can't even receive this type of talk. This is too deep. This is too much. I've been, I've been talking too long. I ain't even talking about an hour, but this is too long. It's too long for cats because they don't, this is too much. They used to three minutes. Three minute sound bite with pictures and flash and they got, they, they, they got it. But they can't, they can't handle this right here. Because this, this, this right here makes you open up another part of your brain. The, uh, when you listen to that music, you ain't even using your brain. You, you're being puppeted into. You're being downloaded. It's a download. This opens up the reasoning part, thinking. Listening to that music and videos, it's just you, you, you open up like, a, like, like you hooked a USB cable to your head, and it's just coming on in you. You ain't even got, you ain't got to receive it. It's, you're receiving it whether you say you're not. This type of stuff is what we call cognitive thought. It wakes up another part of the brain that makes you reason. It makes you think about what I'm saying. Well, that, that, that video stuff and music, it don't make you think. You just receive it. You receive it, it gets in you, and you go out and do it. You go out and do it. They say dress like this, you dress like this. This, this dance is dance, I dance. They say use it. this is the new slang, I use it. Why? Because you're being downloaded into it. When you get saved, what really does happen it awakens that part of the brain that makes you think. That's the reason why when a person gets saved, what do they want to do? No. They want to know. They start wanting to Bible. They just want to study. They want to know what's in the Bible. They start wanting to know. Why? Because that's the part that's woken. Before that, you sleep. You don't care about knowledge for real. All you care about is what's going to feed your senses, your pleasure. Y'all done. Y'all done. Y'all done. Let me get done. Look at, look at verse uh, John chapter 1. Look at verse chapter 1. Look at verse 3. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shine in darkness, and the darkness cannot comprehend it. I don't even like the word comprehend. That's a good word, too. Understand. That's what's wrong. They can't understand you. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you get saved. You go around your old partners, and they, they don't understand you. You're not the same person. They don't understand this new flicker, this new light. What is this new light? This is hurting. It's like a strobe. This is hurting my eyes. I no longer want to be high around you. I don't know why. 
They go over here and say, man, dude, man, dude, we talk, come talking that stuff. He come talking that stuff. No, it ain't that. It's that. You ain't said a word. It's that. Shining in their darkness, and it hurts their eyes. Now, you do know you got spiritual eyes. It hurts them spiritual eyes. They say, man, I'm just, man. Get away from him, man. You can't even get. That's why all of a sudden they feel, that's why all of a sudden you ain't got to say nothing. They, they'll cuss it. Oh, my, 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 my fault. You ain't said nothing. Why are they doing that? You ain't said a word. It's light. Do you understand? You thinking that nothing happened to you when you got saved, but you literally changed. If you could see yourself spiritually, you would see there as a light on you. That's how you are identified. Without that light, you'll get no seal. There's a seal. Oh, I ain't got time to talk about that. I ain't, I ain't got time. I ain't got, I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Come on. Look at this. In him was, and this, listen, the light shines in the darkness, but the darkness is not overcoming. coming. This is what happens in salvation. You receive a light or a frequency, because light is frequency. Light is frequency. You receive a light or frequency that cannot be penetrated. It does not mean that you cannot still hear or be affected by the lower satanic frequencies. You can still be affected by it, but it means you cannot be overcome or totally possessed by it. Don't mean he can't oppress you, but he can't totally overcome you. Now, here's, here's the whole premise I was trying to get y'all to. This is what's going to happen to people in this hour. The Bible says, because iniquity shall abound, meaning because darkness shall increase. Now, what's happening is, it says, because darkness shall increase, the love of many shall grow cold. In other words, the darkness will begin to have an adverse effect on people that are not walking in the light. Do you hear what I'm saying? So you will be affected if you don't have this light. Are y'all not hearing what I'm saying? Are y'all distracted? What's wrong? Do y'all hear what I'm saying? So this is what salvation is. And, and I told y'all over in Switzerland with this CERN machine they got collecting this darkness, it's antimatter. When they release this stuff, oh, they're going to release it. You got about maybe th for about four months, maybe about three, four months. They're going to release this stuff. It's, they're going to be a full power. When they release, they said if it's come in contact with you, people literally go insane. They said this stuff is so powerful, people go insane. That's why it's going to be so important. To have this light. But that's why the persecution of you will begin. Because they don't want you to know there is an antidote. No, I'm going to say antidote. There is a preventative measure. In other words, it won't work on you. So that's why Satan is saying, get rid of them. Get, now do you see why they want to kill Christians? To get rid of you. It's to try to put out the light. So that darkness can just do what darkness wants to do. So you think you love this person you with now? Wait till that darkness hit them. You see what kind of demon is really there. When all of the craziness in them comes out. The Bible says it's going to happen. This violence that comes upon people. You're going to see that this is what Satan is trying to do. And those that are going to be protected. And I thank God for that. Think about this, that, that, that now, I, now I lay me down to sleep means a lot more. Because you're going you're gonna to need this protection when you lay down. Because they said, they said when they collected this antimatter, people start having the weirdest dream, demonic dream. They start seeing, oh, really what they're doing, I, I didn't tell you all this, but this certain thing they get, they said what they really, when they remove this barrier, this wall, there will be a clashing of the supernatural realm with our realm. What does that mean? I wonder if y'all know what that means. They show y'all in the movies all the time. What does that mean? That means the spirits you couldn't see, you'll be able to still walk, they'll walk right on up. What you couldn't see before. There'll be a heightened awareness of demonic. Now, do you know what they're going to call them, them, them beings? Aliens. This is what the Pope has already conditioned the world for. That's why they're in a rush trying to get everybody, everything together. NASA's already saying the same thing because they're trying to get you ready. The Pope them already said, the Vatican said there is that Jesus Christ is the son of the fallen angels. This is what the Pope just said. 
Y'all don't know. Y'all, y'all got to study this stuff out. So when, so when the being comes, he, they will say he is. Why you think Jesus said when they say, low Christ is in the desert, don't go. That's why the rapture messed us up. But that's why Jesus said when I come, it'll be every eye shall see me. I'm coming as the east is from the west. 